It's Thursday, December 20th, 2007. I'm James Kotecki, and this is Playbook TV. Colorado Congressman Tom the Tank, Tancredo, plans to end his bid for the presidency later today, surprising only those who never knew he was in the race in the first place or that he even existed. Oh, Tom, with you gone from the race, who's going to show up at the Republican debates and rail against illegal immigration? Oh, wait, there's another congressman who does that exact thing. In many ways, his campaign was destined to bomb from the start, much like the backpack of the terrorist in Tancredo's most popular and heartwarming campaign commercial. But perhaps there were clues earlier in his presidential bid that should have tipped us off that he wasn't quite ready for prime time. I am going to today establish a, an exploratory committee for the, uh, to seek the office of President of the United States, to seek the, office of the, or to seek the nomination of my party for President of the United States. Um, I'll be traveling, uh, I mean, exploring some office uh, space, uh, the office uh, of the President, I mean, uh, the nomination of the office. Uh, illegal immigration is bad. Seriously, when announcing a run for President of the United States, you've got to stick the landing. Next, Mitt Romney told Glenn Beck recently that Time Magazine's selection of Vladimir Putin as Person of the Year was disgusting. Actually, Governor, I think this confuses a lot of people. As Time's managing editor noted recently, it's about influence, not good deeds. It's not supposed to be an honor. Hitler, Stalin, and Ayatollah Khomeini were men of the year back in their day. But you know, folks, perhaps Governor Romney may be onto something. Perhaps time is losing its edge in selecting the person of greatest influence. After all, last year, the person of the year was you, and we both know that last year, you didn't do jack. Finally, he's back. Politico's John Bresnahan and Mike Allen report that Senator Larry Wide Stance Craig is back to relative senatorial normalcy. He joined President Bush at a signing ceremony yesterday for a major energy bill. Now, you may be wondering, was this an alternative energy bill? <laughs> you bet it was. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash playbook for more stories, including more on the CIA interrogation tapes. And don't worry, even if you haven't done jack squat this year, we hope you count your time with us as at least marginally productive right here on Playbook TV.